In this video, we're going to look at some coins that have the potential to do maybe 100x in the next bull market, as well as Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Nothing I say is financial advice. Go away and do your own research before investing any of your own money. Let's get into it, guys. Okay, so obviously Bitcoin doesn't have the potential to go and do 100x in the next bull market. And the reason for that, guys, is because it has a massive market cap of $323 billion. To go and do 100x takes it to a figure that is bigger than the gold market and bigger than pretty much most other markets out there. So obviously Bitcoin probably in the near future won't be able to do something like that, but in the future... But further down the line, who knows? Bitcoin itself doesn't do anything particularly interesting or exciting when it comes to cryptocurrency. Because it's like the digital gold, it's not fast enough in terms of its transactions to be used as a digital currency. Although it is often called a digital currency, it's more like kind of gold in that it's scarce. There's not tons of it available. It is being mined, but ultimately in the future, there will no longer be any more Bitcoin mined. But the technology behind it is absolutely sound and almost runs more seamlessly than any other crypto. And because it's the granddaddy of crypto and the only one that most people who have never been into crypto know about, the, it's kind of like the entry standard for crypto. So most people arriving into the game will buy Bitcoin before they start to buy other altcoins because they've never heard maybe of Ethereum, Polkadot and all the others. So Bitcoin is a solid investment potential opportunity because when crypto gets going again, it will potentially see big gains, but you're not going to be looking at 100x's because the market cap's just far too big. Jumping into the Bitcoin chart, guys, you can see that this was the all-time high set in the autumn of last year went to $69,000. Currently, we are sat 318% away from that all-time high. So you've got potentially a 4x. If you, if you put in $1,000 now, potentially you could get to $4,000. Obviously, it will likely go beyond that when the bull market starts to happen again. But as degenerates looking for bigger gains, there's more to be had, guys, if we look into some smaller altcoins. Okay, so altcoins, you say, well, the daddy of all altcoins is Ethereum and is one of the largest market caps of all cryptocurrencies with $149 billion. For the same reason as Bitcoin, Ethereum also is unlikely to go and see 100x. However, Ethereum has seen incredible use case development over the past year or so, as well as having a huge upgrade, which has reduced the transaction fees or the gas fees, which caused a lot of problems for Ethereum in the past. It's also started to speed up the way in which it works, enabling something called sharding, which enables theoretically an infinite amount of transactions to take part at any given time. Ethereum is the granddaddy as a layer one blockchain, and it basically is the oil in the place of Bitcoin's digital gold, because tons of different things work on Ethereum. We're talking we're talking DeFi, we're talking gaming, we're talking NFTs and Web3 and so much more that is going to get built and continue to be built on the Ethereum network. And we can only see more development happening into the future, which ultimately makes Ethereum a phenomenal investment, in my opinion. Can we see the market cap of Ethereum outgrow Bitcoin? I think so, potentially, depending on the market. So in theory, that means to see the Ethereum market cap double against a Bitcoin. Every time we move into a bull market, Ethereum gains ground on Bitcoin as more and more people start to learn about Ethereum and hear about all the opportunities that it presents and will still continue to provide use cases where perhaps Bitcoin will just continue to move around as gold does against the US dollar. The Ethereum all-time high sat at around $4,800, just under $5,000, which we can see from this area is a 4X. So if you put in $1,000, you would be left potentially with $5,000 at the end in comparison to Bitcoin if we get up to all-time highs. Again, obviously, it's difficult to know going beyond that where we're gonna see growth. But in my opinion, going back to all-time highs is pretty much going to happen short of something absolutely dramatic happening in the world in the next few years. The next coin we're going to talk about, and it's going to give a little bit of a warning for those of you wanting to buy into crypto who may have never got into crypto before. Earlier on in 2022, we saw a cryptocurrency called LunaCoin absolutely destroy itself. With a massive market cap in the top five points of the crypto market, we saw Luna pretty much crashing to being worth absolutely zero as the way it was promised to be running and the people behind it basically caused a meltdown and caused this coin to self-destruct, 
causing lots of people, including experienced people, to lose millions in this crypto. So this is a bit of a warning for people who are investing in crypto, thinking that the only way potentially is up. Every coin that you invest in, including things like Bitcoin, have a potential that they could end up at zero. So never use any money that you can't afford to lose in crypto because you can see some really punishing moves take place. The people who are buying Bitcoin at like $70,000 to then find it now worth about 20% of that original value. If you'd gone and put in your new money for you wanted to go and buy a house with or something like that, you'd suddenly find yourself in a bit of a sticky situation. So be very cautious of doing it guys. Crypto should only be for money that you don't really need or have no real need for into the future because it can potentially go against you. However, there are obviously great gains to have. Now, Terra Classic is basically the rebirthing, the better version of the original Luna token. And what's kind of exciting about this is the Terra Luna Classic obviously is recovering from that original kind of catastrophe moment. Currently with a market cap of $829 million, it's a bit of a no-brainer looking into this three-month chart where we have seen kind of a big decrease towards the downside as long with everything else in crypto that we could potentially see significant growth. $800 million for it to do a 10x isn't really unrealistic in my opinion. And actually where people kind of think that crypto is all about like the importance of what different items do, different cryptocurrencies do, I want you to remind you of things like Dogecoin and Shibrino, which are effectively just tokens with pictures of dogs on them that have had $100 billion market caps in the past. Whilst there are a lot of people in crypto who buy and invest and understand how crypto works, I would say that 90 percent of the market do not and therefore a lot of it does come down to luck about which companies you're choosing looking for ones with good marketing good strategy good ideas and good industries that they're working in is really quite a good way to start but right now because of the situation because of the bottom of the bear market kind of looking very near we are likely to see significant increases if you go into like one year from now, two years from now. And that's what makes crypto and investing into these painful times very exciting and potentially lucrative. Looking into currency.com, guys, this gives you an indication of the kind of idea and sentiment behind investing in crypto. Is it a good idea to invest in Luna? Well, it might be, but it might not be. Luna coin was behaving bullishly in 2021. Some analysts predicted that this was true and it would resume. However, the token has recently undergone a huge crash with the cryptocurrency falling out of the top 10 of the market cap coins but potentially all of those problems that were created within the coin you could see maybe being corrected in the future however the name luna probably rings strikes fear into many people who don't even know about crypto in the same way that ftx does and this might make it difficult for them to be building substantial market caps into the future but you know it could still happen and the fact that it survived through this period of time and tumultuous year 2021 with many things causing crypto to fall from grace well there's obviously a great opportunity potentially here as an outside bet in the new bull market and the last crypto which is pretty much my hot pick for the end of 2022 into 2023 is altera guys now, Altera has a market cap of $5.3 million. So to do 10X, and you just get $53 million. It could do 100X by getting to $500 million, which is not unheard of within the crypto space. So what is it? Well, it's an open Web3 gaming infrastructure platform that, confirm, that combines all tools and developers need to integrate Web3 into their games. This is a very cool platform because crypto gaming is probably the best use case I can see for crypto in general because gaming itself is a huge multi-billion dollar industry and it's probably so suitable for Web3 and monetization through crypto, etc. that it's a potentially amazing opportunity. Now this causes an interesting predicament because people in crypto don't really know how to make games. People in games don't really know much about crypto. So you need people who are going to come in and connect both of the parties. And ultimately, this is what Altera do. And this is why I think it's such a phenomenal investment. At only $5.3 million market cap, $100 here. If you're talking like $1,000 and you see 100x, that's $100,000 from a potential $1,000 investment. Now, I'm not saying that's guaranteed. You could lose that whole $1,000. I just want you to understand that. So be very cautious about using money you can't afford to. But this is a very cool concept, in my opinion. And this is how I plan to invest my money going forward. Now, Altura is a new currency. It's quite difficult to go and buy sometimes these new currencies. But don't worry if you go over to coinandmarketcap.com, guys, and you find the tokens and you come down below. Not only can you find out tons of different information about them, but you can come down to the bottom section and you can see which are the markets in which you can go and purchase this particular currency. And you can see the different pairs. So if you don't really know what that means, I know the pair is basically what I can buy that particular token with. So for example, USDT, US dollar, tether, 
or Ethereum are pretty solid and well known about coins. So we could go to gate.io, we could click on this one here, and that will bring me over to gate.io. Obviously, I don't have a sign in for this, but guys, but it wouldn't be too difficult to get a sign in. I'd need some US dollar tether tokens, which you could see I could either buy through bank transfer, credit card, or anything like that. I'd use my native currency, whatever it is, and then I can get myself some USDT. Once I've got USDT, I come across to Altera versus US dollar tether. And I can type in the amount of Altera tokens that I want to buy, depending on how much US dollar I have in my account. Okay, obviously you can see I've just put in this amount. I don't have any dollars in this because I actually haven't signed up. But you get the picture. It's very straightforward to learn how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, guys, just go across to YouTube, find out how to buy a token with gate.io or whatever you need. And then it's very simple to pick up these tokens. Allura is my hot pick for this year. In summary, guys, those are different cryptocurrencies and most of them will probably make money in the coming year or so. In my opinion, that's not financial advice though, so do your own research. Now, smaller market cap coins are riskier, but they do see more potential for huge gains going forward. The higher the risk, the higher the potential reward. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, smash the thumbs up button for me. Everything I talked about today is linked down below in the description. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.